What up, Wolfpack? It's your boy Mari back again with another reaction video, and today we're getting into another League of Legends song from Riot Games. This is the one from Worlds 2019, and it is Phoenix by Kaylin Russo and Chrissy Costanza. I don't know anything about either of those artists. I'm not even sure the genders of one of them. Kaylin could, it's kind of a gender neutral name that could be a woman or a man. I, I, I don't know, but uh, we're gonna get into this song. Riot always kills it in the music department and in the animation department. So I'm expecting this video to look amazing and this song to sound amazing. A lot of people have told me good things about this song, but have told me that this is not their favorite uh, world's song. So I'm interested to see what that means. I don't, I don't expect this to be bad, but the people who recommended this to me didn't recommend it like they thought it was amazing. So we'll see. I won't know until I hear it. So without further ado, we're going to get into this video and I'll see you guys on the other side. Peace. Okay, so first off, the intro was just a simple synth with like some atmospheric pad playing in the background, came into some chords on a keyboard playing and a percussive like kick kind of situation going on. Not too complex production wise so far. Her voice is really beautiful. Her vocals starts very clean and then they, they're starting to layer on the reverb. They're doing vocal stacks now, so they're adding like extra layers to her vocals. Her vocals are building, so I'm assuming the production is also going to build to something also because this is League. But so far, not super complex by Riot standards. Okay, so one, I like video wise that this video features like people. They have not just like in the takeover video, they have animated people going in and out of the game. This has like people, people going in and out of the game. I think that's cool. I think it might pull some people out of it going from. 2d to 3d like back and forth like that but i like seeing it some like goop is getting all over them that kind of looks like sparkly symbiote from marvel like you know the venom symbiote but i'm not sure what that's about but it it looks cool to me the the vocal effects and the engineering on the singer's vocals are really great she has uh like falsetto layered over fal falsetto singing layered over her vocals she has uh, filtered vocals that are happening, like doing ad libs in the background. Like one of them was like now, like in the in the background. Um, there's a a lot of vocal stuff going on, even though there isn't a lot of production stuff going on. So are you gonna die today? Okay, chorus. Interesting. Again, I keep saying this. The the production is not it's it's a it's a little I don't want to say underwhelming, but it's it's not to typical league standards. But I think the lyrics of this song are really good. Uh like conquering your demons to to get to the next level. Yeah, I I think really great lyrics, very good vocals, production wise. It's cool. And now you're playing with matches, come out of the ashes underneath you. A million voices in the crowd, they're screaming. Stop now. We'll let them swallow the pride. Just turn in the tides, true believers. Got them in the form of your hand, you're playing. Got now. 
Yeah, so, so many different, there, there are probably three times as many vocal stacks in this song as there are instruments. Because just on that, what you're going to do now section, it branched out into all these different kinds of nows. And it was panning all different directions. Actually, it's similar, it's not the exact same, but it's similar to the villain, the KDA villain reaction that I did in that is that the bridge i don't know there's one section in there where they they do a bunch of like vocal engineering in in that song as well the production in this song is very interesting because a lot of it is filtered in that the all the highs are eq'd off of the top of the sound so it sounds really like muffled like it has a hand or say so it's like very muffled i don't know i don't know how else to put it in a colloquial term it creates a very um it's not energetic but it, it's supportive like it's it's supporting the song it's not pushing the song and a lot of pop hip-hop and edm currently leads with the percussion and so the percussion is pushing the song and so i get why listening to this people who are used to listening to songs where the percussion you know moves the track they may not be the biggest fans of this song because they're it's it's different than the traditional i say not traditional the contemporary production that you're used to but i don't think it's bad i just think it's serving a different purpose i feel like the purpose of this song is much more focused on the vocals it sounds like that and it feels like that in the experience of the song and so i think if they had really really big dynamic drums that would take away from what it is that they're doing with the singer and the singer's vocals and all of that out front it's Okay, so the production cuts out, the common technique, cut all the music out, and then drop back into full-blown all the chorus production to create a bigger dichotomy between the two, making the chorus more impactful, hit you harder, whatever. The singing adds ad-libs in the background, like really big, like belty notes over the top. I'm not exactly sure what she's saying as this is the first time I'm hearing the song, but let's just say it's fly, but they have them so far back and the volume on them very low. They're just in the back, again, supporting the actual chorus versus like this is an R&B song. The ad libs that are over top of the chorus on, the R on an R&B song are very present in your face. These are very back. Again, they're, they're back there with the production, the, the main lyrics of the song are out front Hold on. Okay, so b before it builds into wherever it's going, probably final chorus, this bridge section, I really like. So this, the production in this song has been minimalistic so far, so making the bridge minimalistic as well was a very smart choice, and they did that in, one, changing the, the production style. It went very like cinematic music score with the orchestral strings that they brought in, and the like big uh, acoustic drums that they have playing in the background and then they instead of having the singer sing some different bridge section over she's just saying what you're going to do now what you're going to do now but again it's filtered and it's it's back in the mix so the focus shifts from her and her singing to the uh string whatever the the main string instrument is whether it be a violin 
or cello or, or whatever. Yeah, very smart and artistic choice. So far, this is my favorite part of the song production wise. I don't know who the I don't know which of the singers is singing um, the ad libs in the background of this, but they're killing it. They they're really they going in behind this third chorus right here. So I'm I'm digging that a lot. That's a really cool image. Ooh. Oh, they have a making of. Dope, okay. I'll watch that later. Okay, I have two theories about that song. One about the, the visuals and one about the art. I have two theories about the video. One about the visuals and one about the song itself. To start with the visuals, I think the petrified looking we're just gonna call them symbiote versions, but the petrified like evil versions that we were seeing uh, that, were, that were covering them and then there was like full ver full body versions of the gamers. I think those are like the demons from the chorus that they're supposed to be conquering and then they can fly. Fly Phoenix fly. So that's a very like It's not on the nose, but it's a very like tangible way of representing the theme of the song which is basically like your biggest competition is you and so first you have to overcome your internal struggles to get to the next level which i think is a very like relatable thing i know that these songs are written from the perspective of inspiring the gamers for the tournament and then like the gamers who are watching the tournament to go play and then maybe they can make the tournament next year but even people who aren't a part of the tournament can get that they can vibe with that and uh, we all have demons that we have to conquer internally and externally to be able to rise to the next level and so showing that in the characters battling evil versions of themselves and the gamers battling evil versions of themselves is kind of cool and it's, it's very similar and reminiscent of the movie us like you know the horror movie that is really cool and i i think it's dope two theory number two about the song itself i feel like that song was created from the perspective of accentuating the vocalist and and the lyrics of that song not for the purpose of being like super dancey or like oh look at all this stuff i can do production wise because the production was very minimalistic throughout it was mixed in a way that it had the vocalist very out front and all of the the music very in the back of the the sonic landscape so i think the point was for you to be able to hear the not only very good vocals but very crisply mixed vocals you, you could very easily understand what the vocalists were saying what the purpose of the song was and part of that was because it wasn't muddied by a bunch of other production stuff happening and so i get why people may not really mess with that song that heavy i've noticed in my life that people tend to listen to music in one of two ways which is either lyrics and vocalist first or music and and composition first and so if you're a big like lyricist and you're big on like the vocalist and the meaning of the song and blah blah, blah you'll probably really like that song because it's very inspiring if you're big on like oh this song has to sound dope and and that's to make me dance or whatever whatever you're probably not gonna like that song because that that's not the point of that song and so that may be why some people didn't super super love this song i don't know that's my theory but regardless of whether that was the intention or not that's what came across in the song was that the vocalists were at the forefront and as crazy as it sounds that's not how all music is made in fact that's not how a lot of music is made and so yeah those are my two theories about the video and the song let me know what you think about this song down below in the comments also while you're down there make sure to leave me some other recommendations of things to react to and i'll see all of you guys next time here on the channel have a great day bye